Oh wow, the sun. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here. First and foremost, sorry, there's basketballs behind me. Um, JR is training. But anyways, it's, it's very hard for me to film sometimes because he's working, I'm working, yeah. But um, today we're doing a haul video, a mid-summer haul video. I am so excited. Oh my, clap. Okay, look, so I just pulled all of this out of the garden. You're gonna come with me. We're gonna go back in time and pick all this stuff. I'm, ooh, I'm so excited. Things are coming out of the garden. We have so much kale here. We have sugar snap peas. We have cucumelons, tomatoes, zucchinis, cucumbers, beans, sage, mint. So much stuff. Swiss chard as well. I also pulled some recently and lots of amazing things. So let's go on an adventure. I'll show you the garden, what it's looking like right now. It is currently almost, almost August. Oh my goodness. So it's the end of the July period and things are in full swing here. So let's go. All right. So I wanted to give you a quick bird's eye view into the garden and then uh, you can then watch me take some things out. So first and foremost, eggplants are coming along. They look amazing. All of these beans, I literally just picked a bunch of these as well and, and there's already so many more. Crazy. Um, we have some more squash, zucchini coming along. We have tomatoes, oh my gosh, look, we've got some full colored tomatoes here. Um, I don't think these, no, there's some more zucchini on these bad boys, but they aren't ready. Um, tomatoes starting to come here. I'm going to be trimming lots of the mint, lots of the sage today. I have been neglecting my cucumbers. Look at this. Oh my God. There's like four of these bad boys. Look at him. Oh, he's sexy. So we're going to be picking some cucumbers. I don't know if that little pepper is ready, but we've got some peppers. And um, all of these guys are like different varieties of hot peppers. They aren't ready yet, but lots of mint, lots of sage. I'm gonna be taking all of this kale out today, using it for salads, juicing, everything. It's starting to get really eaten, so I wanna make sure I can take some of it out and use it. Um, this bed, I don't know if you guys saw my video, um, a hot minute ago, I planted some new things in here. It seems to be going okay. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> it's a random pea shoot in here. It's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> oh, look, and there's raspberries on here. Ah, so cute. These are eggplants that are behind, which is totally okay. Um, more tomatoes. I actually started wrapping some of the tomatoes because a few were starting to get ripe. Ooh, like this guy, he's coming along. And um, the squirrels are taking them off, so gotta be careful there. Yeah, so some more tomatoes there I'll be picking. But what's really exciting is if we go to the other side of the yard, you will see some really sexy things. Just, just, whoop, just putting it out there. <laughs> oh, I gotta take out these guys. Sorry, there's like a bag here. Cucamelons, look, look at them. I've never grown them before. So cute, we've got a whole vine there that's like trellised over here. And then, sorry, it's like a love rider. Obviously this way. Um, okay, so this is what I'm really excited about. So over here in the pond area, look at these tomatoes. Oh, I'm so in love with them. Look, oh, oh my God. <gasps> These tomatoes are coming along. They look so fabulous. Big, big bursts of them. Some more over here, some more red ones, some more yellow ones up there. Oh my God. And I also just put these up not too long ago. So we got some, some mustard up there, I believe. Yes. And then some more beans, more bush beans. Figured that would do good. I also just want to like say, why do sunflowers have any business? This is a solid two feet. That one is a solid two feet. 
higher than my gazebo, okay? That's like 10 feet tall, which is insane. These sunflowers are absolutely stunning. I actually already did a photo shoot with them. God. And um, we also got some more Big Daddy, oh my God, zucchini in here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go, do you see them? Oh my God, there's another one there. All right, let's get to picking. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Also, I have planters over there on top of my recycling. <laughs> One last thing I totally forgot to say is um, I've already harvested peas from these four guys. I'll link the video down below where I did like shady type plants in these guys. They're actually outside of my fence and they're doing so well. I picked out a whole slew of radishes. I've been using them in my salads, um, but uh, I'm actually going to take all of these peas out. They're starting to go. It's just too hot right now for them. And then we have beautiful Swiss chard. It's getting a little eaten in here, but not a big deal. Probably gonna pull a lot of the slightly older leaves out as well. So that I actually have some more radishes in the front here. I want them to get a little bit more light. But yeah, oh my God. <laughs> gonna pull that. Oh, and also there's like three planters along here that have more squash in them. Um, yeah, more squash, more radishes. I'm just kind of trying to see like what grows. This guy gets the most sun, you can tell. I planted everything at the same time. This guy is doing great. This guy, eh, not so much. It's, it's interesting, right? But yeah, okay, let's get to it. I just, I just need to show you that there's a melon in here, which I'm really, really excited about. Oh my God. Wow, so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so just a quick, super sexy overview. Sorry, <gasps> I'm like straddling the tripod. So we have beautiful tomatoes, different color, different kind of like cherry variety tomatoes. My big guys are coming along, but of course these guys are first. We got some cute little cucamelons. I have plenty of sugar snap peas. I'm gonna eat the fresh ones, like the very mature ones. And then the rest I'm gonna put in curry. Oh my God, look at this. We have monster cucumbers. I actually just gave a cucumber and a zucchini away to like the mom that was here for her athlete, but <laughs> we had two, we got one left and we had three gigantic cucumbers um, plus a few small ones. Oh my goodness. We have all of these beans and this is literally like the sixth time I've picked beans. Insane, oh my goodness. 
And then I just bundled some sage and some mint. Oh, and another cucumber is hiding, of course. He was kind of really close to the ground. I just wanted to get him off the ground. And then we have all of this beautiful kale. Oh my gosh. And this is just the tops of the kale. I actually kind of let that kale go a little bit too long and it was starting to get eaten. So the bottoms aren't looking the best, but I literally just pulled all the tops off. And then I also pulled a little bit of fresh um, baby Swiss chard. So there we go, guys. Today's haul. That's insane. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what is growing in your garden, if things are doing well. Oh my, I'm just gonna eat this right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, what you're excited about. I'm excited about tomatoes. I have a soft spot for homegrown tomatoes. Like, they're just the best, you know? Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> There's something about ripe tomatoes, fresh from the vine. Holy crap, they just taste so miraculously different than store-bought tomatoes. Mm. All right guys, make sure you like, sub, and I'll see you later, bye.